Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California. It's slightly overcast outside, but other than that, we got perfect weather out here today. Just, just beautiful. Um, today, this is gonna be actually a very short video. It's only gonna be a few minutes long. Um, I'm gonna talk about uh, how the US just passed the FIT21 bill, it's FIT21 bill. And this stands for the Financial Innovation and Technology Act for the 21st century, well, the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act. It's actually called the FIT21 Bill or FIT21. But before I do this, I have to still read you my legal disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This, in, this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. Everybody, including myself, are all responsible for our financial investments and endeavors. That being said, let's get started. Okay, the FIT21 Bill was a Republican Republican-led bill that aims to set legal rules for the digital asset industry. This new bill will take power away from the SEC or the Security and Exchange Commission and transfer it to the Commodity Futures and Trading Commission or CFTC to oversee crypto assets which are categorized as digital commodities. Now this is great um, but it's got some criticism to it. Um, Y'all probably know Gary Gensler from the SEC um, he wasn't too happy with this bill passing. He claimed it would put digital asset investors at immeasurable risk due to the creation of uh, new gaps in regulations. Also, President Joe Biden wasn't happy with it either. He said it, he disapproves this bill. However, he doesn't seem to have any plans to veto it. So it, it, I'm pretty sure the bill's gonna stay in effect. Um, this is another small win for the crypto industry and what I've noticed is is just about any everything is getting going in the way of crypto basically the coinbase lawsuit with the SEC I think coinbase it has an edge on that right now and the ethereum ETF that's going to be improved in uh, May I think there's a better chance of it getting approved now than it was just a couple weeks ago so let's keep getting these base hits and get crypt you know and, and allow crypto to get mass adopted so it was just a short video to let you know about the um, financial innovation and technology bill um, for the 21st century. So just in case you didn't know, now you know. So I just gave you a little bit of alpha. But what I wanted to let you know was um, on the next video, I'm going to be discussing a one of a kind stock play. The one that only comes up about once in a decade. Um, it's, it, it's no different than being on the ground floor of Amazon, Netflix, Uber, Lyft, NVIDIA, Microsoft, or Apple. Um, all of us, I'm sure, miss those plays. If you're watching this video, you probably missed it. I know I missed all of them. Um, I also missed NEO, which was 17 cents the crypto. I, I missed that. And I bought one Bitcoin in 2018 for $3,600, but I should have bought four or five more. But, you know, you live and learn, right? But, but this is our chance to take advantage of something just as powerful. And I'm gonna go over that either, if I don't do it, if I don't release it tomorrow morning because I'm still writing the script right now, I'm gonna release it probably on Saturday. So today is Thursday. So um, I'm gonna try to release this in the next day or two. I'm still working on the script um, because presentation's everything, right? Okay, so that's about it. Peace out and I'll be in touch very soon. Thank you.